and get started and get our recordings going. Um, so welcome and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm going to go ahead and we have a full full night of information tonight and I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our CEO Trisha. Well, welcome to February, everyone. I can't believe we're already into the second month of the calendar year and that Thinking Day is one week away. I hope you all have uh, great plans for Thinking Day and some activities happening in your communities. If you need any uh, suggestions or advice, uh, feel free to reach out. And I know that we have things uh, on various websites or on the WAGs. Uh, oh, yes, thanks, Carrie, for that information. As uh, Amanda said, there is a lot of information coming up. It's a very busy time of the year, as I think every time of the year is for Girl Scouting, with the cookie program well underway, camp registration starting, people getting ready for their spring activities. There's a lot to talk about. So, Amanda, I'll turn it back over to you. If anyone has any questions for anything that's happening, please feel free to reach out. Um, and I'll be on the call for the whole meeting to hear what everyone's concerns are. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, Tricia. I'm going to go ahead and start by sharing my screen so we can go ahead and get going tonight. And hopefully that popped up like it should and we are off and running. So we, like we said, we have a full night tonight and we'll go ahead and get started with uh, Tammy Downing from Membership. Hello, everybody. I'm here with my assistant, Mac. And we're here to talk about membership numbers and all that fun stuff. So let's go to the next slide, please. So take a look at this. This is fantastic. I've been, I've been uh, comparing last year to this year. And let me tell you, we've been doing really, really great. Uh, 55, over 5,500 girl memberships so far. And look at those lifetime memberships. I think we're, we're pretty, uh, we're, we're pretty solid when it comes to that. All right, let's get to the next, on to the next slide, please. All right, so in case you haven't heard, we are doing a new type of recruitment event because we're getting into the Daisy launch um, time of year. And so this, this event is called a unicorn party. And if you have a chance to go to a unicorn party, I would totally suggest that you do. You will find these parties on Sign Up Genius and they are everywhere. We're having them all the time now. Um, ask Amanda LeClaire, when we have these parties, these little girls come dressed up as unicorns and they're just, they're, they have so much fun. Amanda even bought special shoes for, for the, uh, for the occasion. So we're doing unicorn parties. We're doing some teddy bear tea parties. We're doing a lot of things that are attracting these younger girls, because as we all know, when we get these young girls, they tend to stay longer in Girl Scouts. If they start a little bit later, they don't tend to stay so long. So let's grab them when they're daisies and uh, go with it. Um, if you are ever, ever, ever doing a local event and you are and you want some re um, recruitment materials, please, 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 honestly, I can get you all kinds of stuff. We have everything from membership forms to brochures to flyers, but we also have things like hair ties and bookmarks and pencils. We have a lot of fun things that you can pass out at these events. Um, we actually have one coming up this weekend in Alton. It's called the Alton w Winterfest. Um, and yeah, we, we have everything that you will need to make it a success. So all you got to do is reach out. That jot form right there comes directly to me. And uh, me and my team will get together and we'll get everything that you need out to you. All right. I don't know if I, do I have another one? Dun, dun, dun. I don't think I have another slide. You do not, Tammy. All right. Well, then I'm passing it on. So the next up is going to be, I believe, either Michelle Moulton or uh, Amanda Powell is going to join us. Thanks, Amanda. Michelle, I think your slide's up first.
Michelle, you're, you're muted. You're still muted, Michelle. Oopsie, sorry about that. Uh, World Thinking Day, uh, which is next week, is, ce is celebrated on February 22nd and is a day of friendship, sisterhood, and empowerment where Girl Scouts and Girl Guides across the world speak out on issues that affect girls and young women. The 2023 World Thinking Day theme is Our World, Our Peaceful Future, the Environment, Peace, and Security. You can explore environmental problems and learn how you can work with nature to create a more peaceful and secure future for girls everywhere. A few tips that will honor um, the 2023 theme of focusing on the environment are the Girl Scout Tree Promise, which is seeking to plant 5 million trees in five years, or explore climate change and discuss how our planet needs to be protected, um, or consider why we recycle objects and what we could do to avoid single-use plastics, reduce, reuse, and recycle, or investigate renewable and non-renewable resources, or pledge to go green in your home for a day and use recyclable materials to create artwork and craft projects. I'm also going to be putting in the chat a link to the World Thinking Day uh, activity guides. There are activities for each level, and this is uh, actually on the GSUSA site, uh, but I'll put that link in the chat for you. And I think my slide is done, and on to Amanda. Thanks for sharing that, Michelle. World Thinking Day is always really exciting. Um, before I get into the high altitude patch, just a reminder, um, if you're one of our service unit team members, we do have some funds available to help you out with funding for events like World Thinking Day. There's no formal application for it. If you email us in through customer care to start that conversation, we can help get you some funding for some great events for the girls in your community. Um, and if you want to chat about that, I will be in the VSC breakout room <laughs> a little bit later. <laughs> um, just wanted to talk real quick, too, about the high altitude patch because we're really excited about this. This patch is new this year. Um, completing this patch would fit comfortably into your troop's yearly plan of Girl Scout activities and can be earned by doing things like the cookie program, bridging, and service projects that would already be a part of your year. It's just a nice way to kind of cap it off and see and remember all the amazing things you, you and your girls have done throughout the year. Um, all of the activities are based on what research shows makes a successful troop. And the way you complete it is, the troop does 13 activities which includes seven that are marked with an asterisk that must be completed. So you get to pick the other six. Um, an activity can only be used to fulfill one requirement. Once you've met the requirements, you'll fill out the patch program form, send it in to us, then you can get the patch. Um, I will be popping a link for our patch program page on our website into the chat. But if you have any questions, I'd be happy to touch base with you about that too. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Amanda. And I believe next we are going to be going to Christine Airy with Girl Experience. Thank you so much, Amanda. Um, I am happy to be here today as well as um, we have um, Cassandra Jilson, who is our program lead here on the call tonight. Um, and we have some great um, programming opportunities coming up that we wanted to share with you all. Um, first off, our um, champion canoe team, our Swiftwater Paddlers, um, is looking for new members to join the team this year. Um, these girls uh, practice at, out of Kettleford and they um, compete in a couple of races in May, one some here in New Hampshire, one in New York. Um, girls can be cadets and older to join the canoe team. They don't need to have any canoe experience um, the team is willing to teach them all the basics um, and help them get comfortable in a canoe and on the water. And it's a great opportunity to make some lifelong friends. So um, if you have any girls in your area that might have an interest in joining our canoe team, we'd encourage them to go ahead and reach out to our customer care team. Um, and we can talk with them a little bit more about that and help get them connected to the coaches um, and the other girls on the team. So that, I think I'm ready for my next slide. A couple other older girl opportunities we wanted to promote here is our Global Leadership Conference. Um, it's coming up quickly in March on the 17th through the 19th in Newport, Rhode Island. 
This is actually held at Salve Regina University, um, again, for our high school girls, so our seniors and our ambassadors. Uh, this is a great conference, many um, workshops that really touch on very high impacting subject matter for the girls. Um, we're excited to share that uh, you, we have a great number of registrations for this year. Um, the conference is really rebuilding after um, you know, not being able to have it the year of COVID and um, slowly rebuilding back. Uh, we have girls from every council in New England registered for the conference, as well as girls from Western New York, um, a girl from Pennsylvania, and a girl from Los Angeles. Um, so we're very excited about the conference this year, um, and there's still time to register. Um, and there's a lot of information on our website. I know the link was just shared in the chat. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to um, our customer care team. And then GSUSA um, has their destinations that they're asking that we continue to promote. Um, there are about 35 different destinations that are being offered for this year. Um, and while I think 12 of them are full, there are still about 23 or so that have space available. So if you have any girls in your area that are 11 or older and are interested in doing some traveling, there's destinations um, here that are domestic in the U.S. as well as some um, international travel opportunities. So we'd encourage them to check that out. And we also have some um, funding available to help girls pay for their destination. So um, don't let um, fees or the cost of a trip hold any girl back. Um, we'd love to help them travel if they're interested in doing that. And then I can go to my next slide, please. Um, Girl Scout Week is coming up. Um, so I know we just talked about World Thinking Day, but also can start thinking about Girl Scout Week, which happens in March. Girl Scout Week is March 12th through the 18th. So it always starts on Girl Scout Sunday. Um, this year that just happens to be March 12th, which is also our birthday. Um, and then it ends on the Saturday with Girl Scout or the Friday into Saturday with Girl Scout Shabbat. Um, and so we have some different events coming up that we've listed here and we're continuing to add some up on our website. I know um, Isabel, I actually just uh, worked today to get your event up. Um, so hopefully that should go live on the calendar tomorrow or on Thursday. Um, but lots of great events um, happening here, lots of resources on our website, on Girl Scouts of the USA's website. Um, so definitely make sure that you are um, making some effort to celebrate Girl Scout Week with your troops. And then I think I have one more slide. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit in general about the virtual programs that we offer. Um, so we um, have a small program team that offers a um, large quantity of programs. Um, and so we just want to make sure that everybody's aware of all the programs that we're offering. Um, so I know the activities calendar link was shared in the chat. Um, and this is one of the programs that I featured here that we have coming up again for Girl Scout Week. Um, and there are programs for every age level. I specifically grabbed the Daisy and Brownie one, but we're doing it for every age level. Um, and this is a virtual experience for the girls. It happens over a five week period where um, activities get put up each week and the girls can work through the activities on their own time when it fits best into their schedule. Um, and so um, these are some great virtual programs that we have. We do offer several series of this. Um, this program actually takes place in a WordPress blog. Um, so it is a protected environment for girls to be able to interact with the other girls that are participating in the virtual experience with them, to share pictures of the activities that they're doing and to talk about their experiences. Um, and then we offer programs that are like one-time things, such as our magical baking series. Um, the girls just did um, sourdough bread um, this past month in February and coming up in March, they're going to be learning about steam and making popovers. Um, we have World Thinking Day breads around the world. There's still time to sign up for the last session of that. Um, and I believe, I can't remember what they're going to be making, might be Irish soda bread. Um, but you can find more information in that online. We have some coding for good badges coming up. So if you have girls um, either in your troop or girls who are 
IRGs or girls who are just maybe wanting to earn as many badges as they can and are doing some work on their own. Um, these coding for good badges are a great opportunity for them, um, working with the company that's helping them to learn all about coding and to earn their badge. Um, we have uh, one called How Food in Your Body Work. And then also coming up um, very popular is our How to Catch a Leprechaun series. We'll have two of those in person, one in Williston, one in Portsmouth, and then also we're doing one virtually. Um, so great, some great opportunities to meet um, our girls that maybe can't travel or um, not a lot of programming locally in your area. Definitely make sure you're checking out our different virtual offerings. And I think that is my last slide. That is. Thank you very much, Christine. And I believe next we're going to go to Sierra Hunt. Hi, everyone. I just want to let everyone uh, know if you haven't come to the Bedford store yet, we've been remodeled and we now include an entire room dedicated to Build-A-Bear. We're so excited. Um, we soft launched at the tail end of December. And as soon as January came around, um, we slowly uh, started to build bears almost every day. We built even, we built two first thing this morning. We built three yesterday. So we are super excited um, to include Build a Bear in our Girl Scout retail shop. Um, we have six skins, that's what they call the bear before you stuff it. Kind of a weird name, but we're all getting used to that build a bear lingo, just like that Girl Scout lingo that we all love, right? Um, next slide. So this is uh, some of the clothing that we offer and we put the prices up here so everyone could get a feel for like what the price ranges were and what it would be to come to the store and build a Girl Scout bear. The skins cost between 18 and 24, so you can get the bear and just the Girl Scout uniform for under $35, which is, which is a great price and it's such a great experience in the store. Next slide. Those are just some more of the accessories. We actually have a thin mint smell that you can put inside the bear. We have um, all bears come with a satin heart, but there is an upgrade to that. Um, and you can get an actual heartbeat sound put in your bear. And then there's also a recordable sound. So if you're making one as a gift and you wanna record a message for the recipient of that gift, you can do that or if your group of Girl Scouts likes to sing a special song, um, you can record that and put that in the bear. So lots of opportunity with that. And then we have those two really cute bags that you could put your bear in and wear it on your back. Next slide. And these are the stuffies. So these are the six that we're carrying right now. There is a seventh that is on the way. There's a new, um, adventureful Build-A-Bear coming and we will have it hopefully within the next month. Um, program credits can be used to purchase all the Build-A-Bear items. So we're super excited about that. And right now you can come into Bedford anytime and build a bear. We're open until seven on Wednesdays and we're open almost every Saturday, 10 to four. We will be closed in Bedford on April 1st because we're going to literally pack up every single thing from the build a bear room and bring it up to Williston and have a big event at the Williston store. And we'll be open 10 to four, April 1st, Williston. So please, if you live in Vermont or near the Williston store or want to travel there, please come build a bear that day as well. Program credits are being extended to April 1st so that everyone will have the opportunity to use those towards um, a build a bear if you choose. And I think I'm passing off to Robin. I believe that is my last slide. It is. And you are off to Robin, like you said. Thank you, Sierra. Hi, everyone. Well, product sale time. Wow, is this an exciting time. Um, we are almost all here tonight. Uh, Robin, Sarah, and Crystal. I mean, Robin, Sarah, and Lauren are here tonight. Next slide, Amanda, please. 
just some overview. We've had an amazing initial order. We are so excited for the girls. Our initial order was up 29.31% from last year's initial order. We're just excited, so excited for the girls. Currently, our per girl average is 225. And of course, throughout the sale, that does fluctuate quite a bit. Um, and to date, our uh, registered active troops participating is 94%. So of what we've got in eBuddy, which is really very, very uh, wonderful to see that we have a lot of people um, participating in this program. So for now, we are uh, entering into the direct sale or the booth sale period. And of course, girls can continue to order, uh, do girl delivered orders and goal getter orders from now through the end of the sale. Cupboards open officially this Friday, February 17th. We are thrilled and we are packed to the gills. <laughs> we have cookies ready and waiting. Um, and this is when our official booth season begins. The first ACH sweep is actually next Friday. So you may want to make note of that. Um, we want to make sure that that news gets out. We'll be putting out a little uh, a memo or reminder this week to all troops and CPSC. So uh, make sure you watch for that. And then uh, the long awaited um, shipping for cookies does begin on February 27th. So girls may want to relaunch their digital cookie. Maybe they did a, a, a short launch with some of their more local people for Girl Delivered, and now they can relaunch out to all of those friends and family uh, that are a little further away. And the sale does conclude on March 19th. Uh, next slide, please. Carrie put a uh, slide in, uh, I mean, a, a link in the chat, and I'm also going to add a link because I'm going to talk about this in just a minute. Um, some of you may not have troops yourselves, but you, you may want to uh, help uh, give this understanding to the people and the troops that you are around. Some tech tips for you. I think one of the issues last year that we had a lot of confusion over is in this direct part of the sale, how do you handle the girl delivered orders? Leaders were saying we're not, we didn't realize we had girl order sales. How did I, how should I know? So here's a capture of your girl order tab. You're going to notice quickly looking down that there may be some negative numbers. That 175 right there means that Lillian has had some sales online. And you're going to want to click in and find out what she needs. So next slide, Amanda, we're going to see a new filter that Little Brownie has added. Once you're in the girl's uh, account, sales account area, there's a pull down for you and you can filter to view this screen in a number of ways. The most beneficial one right now is that last one that says girl delivery after initial order. Next slide, Amanda, and we're going to see exactly what happens. It's going to filter and isolate only those uh, sales that you need to focus on right now. In this case, this Juliet uh, has sold 10 packages online. That means she's received the money for it, but she hasn't received the packages yet. So you would be applying uh, as a leader, you're going to need to apply the uh, packages to her by placing, you're gonna click that order button and you can apply the packages which will come from your troop inventory or your difference row. If you're not sure that you have enough inventory though, you may need to check what flavors were they. We know there are 10 packages. Go to your reports tab and you will scroll down and find a real spiffy report. It's called Girl Delivery Varieties Only by Girl. One of the beauties of this report is it's gonna isolate which <coughs> online sales were on the initial order and which were not. And those that were not are the ones that you will need to fulfill. So if a parent hasn't told you exactly what that order was, you have a way to make sure that you can be prepared and you can get those cookies for the girl. Uh, next slide, Amanda. Just a reminder, you may need to go to a cupboard 
to fill those orders if you don't have those exact flavors in your troop inventory. We have 13 cupboards ready and waiting for you. So in the uh, eBuddy, if you go to the transactions tab, and I don't have a slide on that tonight because we'll, we'll have some other trainings for you available. And that's exactly the link that I just put in the, uh, in the chat for you is where you can find more uh, videos and in, in little tutorials. You can put in a transaction. You can order a mixed case if you just need a few of those flavors for those girl delivered orders, or you can certainly uh, be preparing for your next booth sale and just add more of those flavors you need for girl delivery because it will all go in to your troop inventory. Next slide, please. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I mentioned uh, in the earlier slide, we do have a sweep coming up on February 24th. It will be 30% of whatever your balance due is. So troop leaders should be looking at their sales report. That's a separate tab in eBuddy. Look at that balance due. It is factoring all of the payments that have been coming in on Digital Cookie. It factors what inventory you have. It factors what your troop proceed is so far. And then that bottom line would be your balance due. We only sweep 30% of what that balance due is on the first sweep. The second sweep, which will be March 24th, again, will be 30% of what your troop owes. And then if you do have a balance due by April 7th, that would be our last sweep. Should you not quite have enough to cover whatever your 30% is, there is an alert form. It is on our website um, under Cookies Plus. And if you go to the resources page, you'll find the alert form, which would be due the Tuesday before the sweep. So uh, just plan accordingly. We do ask that you indicate on that form how much we can sweep. Let's say you did owe $400, but maybe you only had 300 of it or maybe 350. Just tell us on the form how much you can and whatever that balance is. If for some reason there's a girl who hasn't paid or you're having a little bit of um, trouble getting uh, connected with the parent, you will want to just indicate that on the form as well and we can help you with that recovery if needed. So next slide please, I think is just one more, I believe. Just a reminder of resources. We've had some wonderful drop-ins. We're so appreciative to have been able to chat with people so far who have come to our drop-ins and we love them. The next one that we have scheduled is March 1st. Um, come with questions. There's no agenda planned. We are there for you and answer any questions. We can maybe walk through something if you're not sure how to do things. Also that link that I did put up on, on the chat, the quick tips and videos. It, the, the top part will be some girl videos specific to Digital Cookie, and the lower half will be more from troops and volunteers. These are also in GS Learn, so you can also look there as well. And that's what I have for everybody. We look forward to lots of questions from you and uh, helping you through the rest of your very successful sale. Back to you, Amanda. Awesome. Thank you, Robin. So I'm going to go ahead and quit sharing here shortly. That's the presentations that we have for tonight.